Filipino boxing champion Michael Dasmarinas has been on a roll, winning 10 of his last 11 bouts, with his last fight ending up as a draw. The IBO bantamweight champ is set to fight in Singapore next year in an IBF eliminator fight. Now, what can we expect from him in his upcoming bout? Michael Gloves on fire. Dasmarinas joins me right now together with his promoter, ring star, Founder and CEO, Mr. Scott Farrell. Good morning and welcome back to the show, Scott. Good morning. Nice to see you again. And yeah. Michael, uh, welcome back to the Sports Desk, CNN uh -huh. Philippines. Gloves on fire. Yeah, I still remember hot and spicy because that, that, was, that used to be his moniker, Correct, right? Correct, yeah. But gloves on fire <laughs> still really sounds good to me. Michael, panayam panalo mo. 10 out of 11 fights. Um, and ano masasabi mo yung eto after tung sunod sunod ng mga panalo mo nga uh, at saan mo ina, ina attribute etong pagkapanalo mo ano sa tingin mo yung bakit ka ang init mo ngayon gloves on fire pero ang init mo talaga ngayon ah uh, yung ano po yung talagang yung mga panalo ko po nung last talagang inano ko po yun sa pangarap ko lalo lalo na sa mother ko dati na nabubuhay pa kaya sabi ko Pangarap ko sa mama ko na bigyan siya ng magandang buhay. Kaya yun, nagsikap po talaga ako sa boxing po. Uh, nung last fight mo nga, draw yun, uh, matindi nga din yung parang pinaghandaan ka talaga din ni, oh. ni uh, ng Tagagana, si Manyo Black Flash Plunge. Um, ikaw ba sa tingin mo, dapat mas maganda yung naging resulta nun? Nung laban na yun? Um, yun po, yung talagang dun sa laban na yun, talagang alam ko na Medyo, siyempre, mahirapan din ako din sa kalabong kasi uh, nakita ko yung laro niya talagang, ano siya, uh, busy talaga siya sa laro. Puro kamay, ano? Puro suntok, oh, puro ano din. Manantok siya. Ate, magalaw. Ang uh, magalaw siya po. Kaya yun, sabi ko, medyo mahirapan ako dito. Kaya ang ano ko doon, inahabol ko lang talaga kung yung maka-knockout ako, yun yung nasa essay ko that time. Eh, na. Gigil na gigil ka sa knockout noon? Opo, kasi mahirap ako sa kanyang makahabol kasi ma... ma, ma Maano kaya ini inaano ko nagre-rely na lang po ako sa power ko noon pero di di ma, di makatama na maganda. Scott, what can you say about this this kid right here cuz Michael Michael's really still humble, right, you know, right. shy shy guy, yeah. but when, uh, uh, like in the ring he's a different creature. Yeah. What does Michael bring in your stable of boxers? He brings excitement, you know, there's a lot of very interesting boxers out there right now, you know, I mean to name one that's very well known over here in the Philippines, Joe and Ankahas, you know. Mm -hmm. A very interesting fighter, fantastic um, talisman of the sport going forward. I love it, I love everything about him and his team, big respect to them. What Michael brings is excitement. You know, he, he knew he was going into this against a very, very good opponent. 17-0, and 0, never been beaten, Olympic quarter-finalist, Commonwealth Games, you know, you name it. This guy had a great pedigree. A bait ranked further down the list. Reason being, nobody wanted to fight him. Yeah. All right? Yeah. It's a tough, tough fight. And Michael came to that fight and he was tested, right? This, this guy fought his world title against, against Michael, right? Now, if we ever rematch that fight, which we will in time, because I, oh, okay. I, think, I think that Manyo Blackfash deserves that ride at some point. If he stays in the rankings, he stays where he is, then we'll make this happen. If it's right and makes sense for Michael and me and, and Manyo. Um, but I think if it does happen, I think it'll be over very, very quickly. I think Michael, Michael's a very fast learner. He understands it. And when Michael gets pushed too far, you know, he, he comes out swinging. You know, that makes it so exciting. He's got everything. This, this, this kid here is humble, he's fantastic, and he is going to be a world number one. He's already made the world championship in, in IBO. This IBF world title eliminator, that's going to see him step up again. And then he will fight Rodriguez or Inouye, whatever the outcome is, on the World Boxing Super Series. What's next for, for Michael? Are we talking about that rematch right, right away? Because you mentioned about the rematch. Mm -hmm. Or uh, are we going to wait for that before that happens? Uh, what's 2019 looking like for, for Michael Desmarinas? 2019 is going to be the IBF World Title Eliminator. That's mm -hmm. now been ordered by the IBF. Mm -hmm. So we've got ranked number five uh, fellow Filipino fighter Kenny Demasilio, who's ranked number five, and Michael's ranked number six. So they'll fight in March. Uh, we're just about to set the date correctly and get it going for, the, for, that, for that spot to become mandatory number one in the IBF. After that, hopefully, you know, all the ducks lying in a row and everything goes Michael's way, then uh, we fight for the IBF world title after that. Wow. In the middle of the year. If he wins that, then we'll go forward and forward. I see this guy, 
you know, unifying belts. Um, could he beat Inouye right now? Yes, he could. You know, I think there's so much about Michael people have not yet seen. And uh, I wouldn't be wasting my time promoting him if I didn't think he could be a world beater. I don't just see him as a, as a champion. I see him as a, a guy that's going to go on and be somebody like a, almost like a Hall of Famer. If he keeps his focus correct, we're going to start moving his training around. I'm now going to send him to Las Vegas to train with Mayweather for a while. I'm going to work on his sparring. Wow. And we're going to keep developing Michael. He'll be training with, with Mayweather. He will be, yeah. Speaking of there. Mayweather, do you think, uh, quickly, do you think he's the next Manny Pacquiao? Because, you know, they're already tossing that right now. Yeah, like, uh, Michael Desmarinas can be the next Manny Pacquiao. I think, it's, I think it's tossed around too freely, to be honest with you. You know, I mean, it's Manny Pacquiao. I mean, how can you be the next Manny Pacquiao? You know, it's like someone saying to me, Scott, do you want to be the next Barbarum? No, thank you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to be Scott Farrell, and I want to make my own way in this world. So with all due respect to Manny Pacquiao, and I love him to bits, and he knows that, is he is a legend, you know? Michael now needs to make himself a legend in his own right. All right. Uh, thank you again for being on the show. Just keep on coming back. Doors are always open for yeah, you, Scott. You, Andre, Michael, you. the best of luck to you. I'm rooting for you, and good luck. Yeah. 2019, Michael Desmarinas. Again, we just had IBO bantamweight champ Michael Gloves on Fire Desmarinas and his promoter, Ringstar founder and CEO, Mr. Scott Farrell.